Today we are in Doha, flying to Bangkok with Qatar Airlines. Let's go. Welcome back to Doha Airport. And we're just outside the lounge here in Qatar. And uh, as you can see, as always, busy, busy in Doha Airport. So this was the uh, lounge we spent a little bit of time in, just a little bit of relaxation, nice place, very well kept, a um, few nice snacks, very nice seating, quite comfortable, uh, a place, uh, nice little place to spend an hour or two. One of the coolest things I've seen in Doha airport is this monorail system that brings you all the way out along the terminal so you can get to your departure gate. And I have to say, it, it's quite spectacular. It's great train. Today we're actually flying on an Airbus A380 and we are upstairs um, in its economy, but it's at the back of the business class uh, seats. Uh, and I must say the legroom was very good and there was a nice bit of space in all dimensions. So today we have six hours and 20 minutes on the clock uh, and we're going to fly all the way to Bangkok. So it's an evening flight and we're just getting ready to go. You can see our flight map, it'll take us right across Pakistan and Northern India on towards Bangkok. The first part of the meal service was a ham and mayonnaise and lettuce sandwich and some apple juice. Um, it actually tasted a lot better than it looked because to look at it you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't hope for much as always with Qatar Airways uh, one of the really strong points is the entertainment system everybody of course had their own screen at the back at the back of the chair in front of them uh, and there was a great selection of films there was a great selection of box sets and um, there was plenty of music um, it's really one of the strong points with Qatar food is not bad, the service is pretty good, but um, I must say the entertainment systems, generally speaking, are probably some of the best in the industry, and it was really good. I enjoyed quite a few things on the um, entertainment system. It was a nighttime flight, so I kind of wanted to get comfortable and listen to a bit of music, and there was some, uh, some of the year's greatest hits available, and also there was some easy listening available, which was just perfect um, to get comfortable, put on the headphones, lie back, uh, and then of course it was time to have a little sleep which is uh, most important on a flight and I actually slept for a couple of hours which was really really welcome after about a three hours sleep I, uh, I woke up to find it was daylight out and um, you know our trip was really progressing uh, and we're serving breakfast which is always a welcome sight uh, nice little breakfast tray bit of a mixed breakfast good mixture of things uh, some fruit some yogurt some hot bread some coffee bottle of water nice little tray in all fairness for economy um, and I must say again typical with cat our food it tasted a lot better than it looks um, I know it really doesn't look like a whole lot uh, and about an hour an hour and a half after that we found ourselves landing in Bangkok nice warm dry day in Bangkok and the uh, the flight you know really flew by so I must say overall I enjoyed this flight there were a couple of things there were a couple of little niggly things about cat I don't like too much but this particular flight was good the A380, I love the A380. There's a lot of space, you know, you can really, you always have leg room on an A380. Um, and you have that space to get up around the cabin and move around and really enjoy the flight. So that's it guys, thanks very much for uh, coming along on this flight. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I really enjoyed the flight. Uh, and it's always great to get to Thailand uh, and back to the warm weather. Listen, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And um, I uh, look forward to talking to you on the next video.